up, guys? It's your host, Spartana Guides DT, back with another high school season season five video. And without further ado, let's get into the news. So basically, the first tweet that I wanted to mention will already be up on screen due to copyright issues, just in case those people try to copy strike my channel again. Either way, I want it back, baby. I just wanted to say that first. Anyway, so let's go ahead and read this tweet. So basically, the importance of this tweet, I'm not even going to try to read it. Basically, it's 50% 50 uh, off on an ebook, and High School DxD is included. Kadawa tweeted this out. Ishubimi, the author or creator of DxD, also retweeted this out in general. I'm just going to, it's already going to be up on screen due to copyright issues, as I said before, so don't, don't be mad if I, you can't see the, some of the background. Okay, I'm sorry. They're, they're going to fuck me over again. Anyway, so Student cancels a uh, discretion series, a new student. I'm not even going to try to translate this, as I said, because it's just them telling us they have 50% off. And that means Ishubumi's light novel is also on sale again, which means the light novel has been either been doing bad or good, but I'm assuming it's been doing good because he's, he's also been complimenting on his sales multiple, multiple times. And if you guys don't remember, um, he also tweeted out, you know, Buy the light novel, you get a new animated series. And I, I think that we're going to get a new animated series. This is just my personal opinion, of course. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that because I thought it was super duper important for the next thing that I'm about to say. So let's go ahead and get into the next thing. So the next thing that I did want to mention was the Jamie Marchie situation that I mentioned on my Fallen DXD channel. So basically, the Jamie Marchie situation is Rius Grimry's English dub voice actor. Okay, it possibly got fired from Funimation, which would be strange because she's such a humongous role in the anime scene. She's done so many girls, uh, English dub voice that she's known for, through doing so many animes. But if she was fired, okay, this is only a possibility. This is if if she was fired, okay, if she got into some mess or something like that. I'm not going to explain her situation. She could do that on her own, okay. But if she was fired, listen to me, okay. If she was fired. That would confirm a new season if somebody else got hired for a part as Reyes Grimmery. That would confirm a new season because why else do they need another voice actor for another, uh, for what? Rewritten lines? They're not going to do that. Come on, or revoiced lines? They won't do that. So that would confirm a new season, but we would also lose the best Reyes Grimmery voice actor, in my personal opinion. I, I do, I did watch the sub, but obviously I prefer the dub. I think it's hilarious. Okay, I think they really hit the nail on the dub. I thought it was absolutely amazing. But as I was saying before, that would subliminally confirm a season five if they did do that. I thought that was just extremely worth mentioning. So let's go ahead and roll into the next thing that I'm about to say, which also is about Jimmy Mark. The reason why I think this is actually untrue is because obviously this is this, um, this image right here, which is her promoting DXD, obviously, like, you know, it's her saying she's the voice of Rhea Grimmery. Now, why would she say that if she did get fired from Funimation? And she replied to a tweet of Funimation's a little bit ago, but obviously that doesn't confirm anything. She possibly could be fired, could be fired or not. I don't think she will be fired because she's such a huge staple to the community. But in my personal opinion, that was just how it worked. I'm not going to believe any of the BS they try to tell me because, you know, we've all been through it before, if you get what I'm saying. So anyway, let's go ahead and roll into the next segment of news. So what it comes down to, my speculation, my exact speculation, the image will already be up on screen, is a 2021 announcement and a 2022 release date. This is our last chance at actually getting High School DxD Season 5, is the Anime Expo, or whatever you want to call it, the Fantasia Book Festival, which will be in October of uh, in October of this fall, okay, October this year, 2021, okay, that is our last chance to get High School DxD Season 5, the Fantasia Book Festival, I don't care what anybody says, but anyway, all right. My speculation is 2021 announcement and 2022 release date. And the reason why I say that is because it'll probably take them a year to record all the voice lines and do all that stuff. We just we just got out of a huge pandemic. You know, it will, we're not out of it yet. It's still getting immensely better. But Kadawa also tweeted out, okay, this is also worthy of mentioning that they said they wanted to produce over 40 anime by next year or next year in general, which is absolutely crazy. You know how much anime that is? And that's only produced by Kadawa. Like, there's probably many other companies doing anime as well, which I just find that extremely, extremely cool by Kadawa, except for the fact that they copy striked my channel. I think that's really fucking douchebaggy. And I just want to give them a personal, uh, fuck you and blow me. And so anyway, um, I just wanted to mention that. I thought that was worth mentioning. So let's go ahead and roll into the next part. And let's get this done. So another thing that I did want to mention was Funimation, obviously, for promoting it on multiple platforms. DXT, the image will be already up due to copyright issues, as I said once again. Okay, I just don't want them to fuck me over, all right? Because after I won this claim, after I officially, you know, 
I, I basically took a shit on them and didn't even wipe my ass. Well, anyway, okay, it is so so Funimation promoting them, like, you know, TikTok and stuff, all that. Like, on TikTok, there was, like, a couple of things promoting DXD, and I saw some things on Twitter, and they mentioned the school DXD community every once in a while, which is always some type of good news, because, oh my god... Man, we need some DxD in our life, but it shows how strong the community is, and that everybody really does love this anime. And the one thing that they need to do, okay, if they do make the anime come back, or if it does come back, I truly believe it'll come back. They have to do it right this time. Seasons one, two, and three really highlighted like the darkness of the show. Like, for example, God is dead in the show, I and mean, nobody really realizes it at first, but that's like a huge, like a huge, awesome thing that I thought was very cool. Like, what if we lived in a world? Where God was actually dead. It, all religion aside, like, even if you do believe in a God, like, that would be extremely creative in my personal opinion. But anyway, I think, first of all, they need to do Rhea Scrimmery. She looked like ass. All right, let's just be real, okay? Same with Akino, dog shit. All right, everybody else, I think it was okay, at least okay, but they need to refresh on the animation a little bit, make it tighten it up a little bit, make it a little bit more darker, less kiddish, okay? Make it more dark themed, as I said before, like the season, like the, you know, season three where Shell Bob got his ass kicked when Issei went Juggernaut Drive. I thought that was a very emotional scene. I am the dragon of domination. But in season four, when they redid it, it looked kind of shit. I'm not going to lie. No offense. It, it lost that emotional touch that it once had. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to the next thing. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, comment, like, and subscribe for more. But at the last of the best news, please go and buy the English light novel that was promoted by You Should Be Me in general. And let me give you a little update on my channel. They cop Kadawa, the company Kadawa who produces all the anime, copy striked my channel four times in a row. And I finally won. And I won, and the victory felt so good. I literally won today, by the way. I woke up at 3 a.m. I didn't wake up. I was up till 3 a.m. waiting to see. And I, I actually got my second claim gone, so now I can upload. So, again, thank you for all your continued support on my other channel, Fallen DXD. It actually hit over 1,000 subscribers. So, I actually won in this situation. So, without thank you for all your support. And without further ado, pa 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 peace.